So why is it that society doesn't teach us this stuff if it, if it works so well? What, why is it that they hold this back from knowing this stuff? Is there something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? Yes, I think so, yes. Uh, it's too long not being there. And uh, a system doesn't doesn't look for people. <coughs> a system doesn't look for people who are really happy, strong, and healthy, who are unconditionally there, okay, in peace. No, a, a system wants another brick in the wall. A system wants to be served. A system wants actually. A system where, which is comprised with pharmaceutical industry, food industry, uh, wellness industry. I don't know what kind of industries. They want sick people. They, can't, they don't want healthy people. So they will only promote that. The food industry is poisoning us. We, uh, and, and, and there we are in and we become ad- addicted to those foods. So we they want addicts and sick people uh, uh, that constitutes a healthy system. Sick people making up, uh, uh, sick people and dependent people are uh, great for the system, great for the industry, great for a a healthy economy. When I say, hey, stop it, guys. I've been looking in nature, and the nature showed me uh, who I am and what I am in my physiology, in my and my state or in my mind, the natural state of my mind, is deep peace when I'm silent with myself, unconditionally there. No need for drugs. Just being is great. And when I'm in action, it's hundred percent. So when I go into the cold. Then uh, I got a moment of initial stress. And then after uh, 45 seconds, I'm completely from the inside adapted to the cold outside. So that means that the body from the inside suddenly becomes a lot stronger, uh, uh, enabling it to oppose the impact of the cold. That makes my body from the inside so strong. We never learned this to do in our society. That's why we, we become, through the comfort zone behavior, we, uh, uh, we become weak from the inside. And then bacteria and virus have chances to get in. So uh, another thing is the peace you were talking about with the breathing. That actually is the natural state of our mind. Mm. So what is the matter that we are so schooled and loaded with minding, unnecessary minding. It is a, 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 it is a nuisance. It is anxiety creating. We did. We need suddenly retreats with meditation and music or this or that. Always being entertained to get a little bit. Uh, the, the state of mind which actually should be there naturally. Mm. And, uh, and so this is what I teach. And listen to your body. Listen to your mind. It, the natural state of it you will experience through doing this. But people do, do not understand uh, mostly in society because Everything is conditional. You got to pay for this. You got to pay for that. uh, Then something comes which is of value of you. I say the value is already there. It is not needed to be created outside to stimulate you. You are born with an unconditional state of mind, which is great. It feels great. You are great. You have a great mind as it is. And from that state of mind, you are able to create. You are able to be the creator. And that is an amazing journey of 
uh, being creative and uh, go, or go into trouble, make the chair, make the painting, but feel that drive coming through, which lifts you out of uh, being just into the matter. You create, you, you radiate your energy through creation. But because we have no good starting point, that's why we, we create deficits inside. And we become conditional outside to the world. Oh, I need this. I need to work for that. Yeah. We are always running behind and our purpose is left behind. Our purpose is love and it, uh, it is composed by being happy, strong and healthy. Once you uh, imagine when you are in love with a person, you are driven. You, are dri you don't think. You don't need to mind. You know, you just want to go. You fly. Love life like you are in love with somebody. That's the whole thing. And if that is not happening, work it out. Go into the cold. Do the breathing. Because they are really very shortcuts into your pure being. If you're like me, you get so many annoying scam calls and emails. I know one of the reasons I get so many spam texts and calls is because big companies can't keep our data safe. Recently, AT&T revealed that nearly all of their customers' call and text records have been exposed in a massive data breach. And it hasn't even been a few months since they admitted over 70 million of their users' social security numbers ended up on the dark web. The stolen logs also contain a record of every number AT&T customers called or texted. So even if you don't use AT&T, if someone who texted you did, then your number has been exposed. So what can you do to protect yourself? I use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura will alert me if they find my phone number or, or any other sensitive information has been compromised. And they give me fast fraud alerts if anyone tries to use that data to access my credit or bank accounts. Aura does so much more to keep me and the people closest to me safe too. I also get things like transaction monitoring, a VPN, antivirus, a password manager, parental controls, and identity theft insurance. I get all of this in one app at one affordable price. I can also get their AI powered call assistant that will pick up unknown calls on my behalf to screen them for spam or scams. The AI forwards legitimate calls to me so I don't miss appointments, deliveries, and emergencies. And it protects me from harmful text messages by filtering out known spam numbers and scanning links in the messages for phishing threats. I'm not leaving myself and the people closest to me vulnerable to data breaches. And if you don't want to either, you can go to Aura.com slash Young and Alive to try your first two weeks for free. Also linked below in the description. Aura has no affiliation with Wim Hof or the Wim Hof Method.